So here we go on the Yamaha NMAX 125, all nice and fresh for 2021 to meet Euro 5 emission standards. Now the Yamaha NMAX itself has been a popular scooter for a while now. And when you get on the thing, oh, can you tell it's got it? It really is terrific from the offset. The engine, thanks to that VVEA, uh, Variable Valve Actuation System, means you get nice, steady oh, acceleration on this. And so from 40 to 60 is actually really, really surprising. <laughs> um, top speed rise, you're going to get to 65 with a long or downward stretch. Every day top speed is about 60, 55 if you're being kind to it. But that engine, to meet Euro 5 standards, is Yamaha's Blue Core liquid cooled engine that puts out 12.2 horses and 11.2 newton meters of torque. Now the suspension on this is quite typical really. Uh, telescopic forks at the front, twin shocks to the rear. So it doesn't sound anything special, but when you get it on the road, it actually just eats up the road. <laughs> it's so comfy. I thought it was going to be really bad on country lanes. You know, it doesn't make everything disappear, God no, but how it's set up, its rideability and steering this thing is great. This scooter is just noticeably a fantastic all-rounder. The engine is nice and responsive. Yes, it might not have the top speed of some of the others on the market, but it's got just about everything else to it. And the, the top speed is still good. The top speed is still really good. We've got the full LCD dash here, which is nice and clear. Miles per hour is lovely and large. So just about everyone should be able to see that nicely. Um, we've got fuel gauge, we've got temperature, we've got odometer, we've got a clock. That's all good and above board. We've got the dash warning lights above it and the indicators either side. We've got the keyless ignition dial there. Now the colorways on the NMAX come in this gorgeous satin blue. That'd be my vote. I just love, I love this colour. I really do love this colour. Um, the other options are red and grey, if any of those tickle your fancy instead. But I think it's a terrifically sporty looking scooter. Nice and aggressive. This is the type of scooter that I go for looks wise. Oh, I felt that bump, but then I think just even a 4x4 would feel that bloody bump. So let's face facts, scooters predominantly, your average scooter is designed for busy towns and cities. But the NMAX is giving you a great option for faster roads and being in rural environments as well. This just feels bigger than it actually is to me. This feels like a mini maxi scooter. It's lovely and light. It's very nimble. Those 13 inch wheels I had concerns about whether they'd be quite big enough, but I've got no complaints against them whatsoever. That with the suspension. It just makes this thing very rideable. You know, if you're not all about spec and you haven't quite got the budget and you want something a bit more reserved, then that's why Yamaha have the delight in the range. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I would have loved it to got to 15 horsepower or 14.7 to be precise because I, I, I love a scooter that can get towards 70 mile an hour you know, or get to 70 with a bit of a stretch. So something else that's changed on the NMAX for 2021 is the frame. So it's got a twin spar frame, which basically means they've been able to increase the fuel tank size slightly and they've been able to strengthen it up so at the back we'll be able to take a heavier top box because the NMAX is, is very, very popular as a delivery scooter as well. And it, no surprise really. I mean, it's done with the smart motor technology on this for these um, start-stop technology. It's lovely and quiet, this scooter. The exhaust, if you can hear it, 
It's just very typical, quite quiet four-stroke scooter sound. Um, some people um, will absolutely love the quiet nature of this. Most people dare say, well, the inner hooligan in me would probably put a different exhaust on it. I do like to be heard, not from an antisocial perspective, but more from a, I want it to sound sporty, but I also want to be heard by people on the road because I think it just adds to being certain, seen and, and heard is a, is a beneficial thing at times. Oh. As one two five cc scooters go, you know there is um, obviously maxi scooter one two fives, and this isn't too far from that. But obviously you've got your kind of X Max, um, you've got Forzas, you know, out there which are going to be tip top, and they're going to be about four and a half grand from memory. And you know they'll be they'll be up there as, as the best on the market. But if you're looking just below that kind of maxi scooter 125cc range, I mean, you could do far worse. <laughs> this is a, this is a lot of fun. Here we go. Start stop going to kick in. There you go. It's kicked in. So the engine sent itself off. You can see the little A there saying it wants to kick back in when you're ready. So I pull back on the throttle. Instant. Very minimal lag there. Like minimal, minimal. So as we're going along here, big shout out to Lexham Insurance. If you didn't know already, they power us at Bike Matters, so they make it possible for us to do all this content. So very grateful for that. But it's not just that from Lexham. They're giving Bike Matters viewers in the UK a chance of saving 20 quid off an insurance policy directly with them. Now to get that offer, if you click the link in the top right hand corner now, you will automatically have 20 pounds taken off just because you're a Bike Matters viewer. So really cool little offer there from Lexham. Now, as standard, the NMAX does have traction control. So again, another premium feature that we're seeing on these, this type of range of scooters. So it's good to see Yamaha have included it here. But that's not all with the premium options. We've got a 230 millimeter braking disc to the front and another 230 millimeter braking disc to the rear. And it has dual channel ABS. So we've got a great braking system on this scooter. Suspension, we have uh, telescopic forks at the front and twin shocks to the rear. And the braking on this is absolutely superb and the suspension and ride is that almost of a maxi scooter to be honest. It probably isn't that too dissimilar from an X-Max. I've taken this on bumpy roads, I've taken it on normal roads and it just glides along and it's lovely and smooth. The brakes on this work terrifically well. There's no one behind us at the moment. Obviously, we've got ABS as well. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Not gone mental on it, but you can... That just works so well. The braking on this is terrific. Under that big seat, there's enough storage for one helmet. We was able to fit my HJC full face in there upside down. We have two little glove boxes, one that's open here, so there's no front to that, and that's where a cigarette port is. And then to the right there, this little cubby hole has a little latch on it, it's not locked. Um, but yeah, just lift that latch up and that opens up. Not very big, but you'll fit a few small items in there. And as you can see down there, that's our little keyless ignition dial there, and our fuel cap um, release button and our seat release button. Now the price of the Yamaha NMAX is extremely competitive, coming in at £3,400. So there's some competitors less than this, there's some competitors more than this, but the NMAX kind of puts itself right in the middle there. And I think, for the spec this has, it is giving people a great option, a great option for 125cc scooter. I've done a lot of miles on this so far and it has been nothing but comfortable you know I don't want to bang on just about how good it is I, I know that seems biased but I really have to nitpick to find things that you know could be better you know although I love how the engine set up especially with that VVA but 
it could get, you know, 14.7 brake horsepower. 14.7 horsepower, we'll see this get towards 70. Uh, at the moment, it gets to 60 comfortably, but then it really does struggle to get towards 65. You might get there on a long stretch or down a slope, but 65 mile an hour isn't an everyday top speed. I think you'll find it's 60, and if you really want to be kind, 55. But it does get to 60 nicely, to be honest with you. It really does, beyond 60, it's, there's nothing really there. As you see from that VVA, how it just glides. Oh, it just makes for a really rewarding ride. What else could I pick? Kind of could be improved with this. Yes, the engine. Um, under seat storage could be a little bit bigger. It does fit my HJC helmet. Just when I put it in upside down. Check yours for compatibility if you're interested in the NMAX. Um, but it could be a little bit bigger. Um, and also I believe the the app is kind of has kind of minimal functions it will display on the LCD dash when you've received a call or a text but that's about it really so I'm not too fussed about tech because when I want a bike I want to kind of forget about it but for all those kind of tech enthusiasts out there who want really good app integration that's just a bit bare bones on this of course for those who are kind of doing longer commutes or kind of more on open roads, you might want to add a fairing, like a larger fairing to it, a windscreen even. And um, but as standard, the fairing that you got on the windscreen that you've got now is at, you know, more than adequate. Well, it might just be one of those upgrades that you do to get a larger windscreen if you are out in all weathers all the time. That's sensible. Three abreast. Two, I can understand. Three, you're taking the piss. Think that VVA system. Just means that acceleration, kind of 40 to 60, is great. You can feel it come in. And just make it really smooth. Whereas most scooters, kind of from 40, will just kind of go, all right, I'll get to 60 in my own time. You know. This is like, now I'm going to get you there, buddy, and we're going to have fun doing it. So we caught this van up in no time at all. It just glides around the bends. I much prefer seating position with my feet on the back of the leg shield. Much more comfortable ride. The seat is just, you can do so many miles on this. You know, I don't want to sound all one way with this review. You know, my summary would be, it is a terrific all-rounder, and I can totally see why the NMAX sells and the numbers it does. It is comfortable. It rides great. Its engine is pokey. The acceleration is good. The brakes are good. The LCD dash is basic, but still good and gives you everything you need. Now, Yamaha State, you should get over two. You should get about 200 miles on a full tank, on a 7.1 litre fuel tank. That again, for what you're getting, I think is fantastic. And you've got to look at the big picture at the moment. You know, we're still in the midst of a pandemic, although hopefully we're at the tail end of it. But people don't want to use public transport anymore. You know, it's bad enough in the first place, let alone when there's a horrendous virus going around the place with scares of different variants all the bloody time. And we all know Kind of from a scooter and motorcycle enthusiast's point of view that they offer a terrific alternative to commute but now i think we're seeing a new kind of new breed of commuter to scooters and motorcycles who want a really economical and efficient way to get to work or get home again and when you look at options such as the yamaha nmax you can't really get much more of a better alternative. When you think how much a season ticket is for the train or a bus, you know, and that's just to get to, you know, from home to work, you know, or you know, from station to station even. But with this, it gets you from home to work. It gets you wherever you bloody well want it to. Now, as I'm going along here, enjoying myself, and just how lovely and smooth and agile the NMAX is, and how perky it is with that engine, it's time to wrap this one up. 
I really hope you've enjoyed it everyone if you have please give it a like rating if you've got any comments questions or any opinions on bikes we should test in the future put that in the comment section below if you're not already subscribed to our bike matters youtube channel hit that red subscribe button and while you're there hit that bell notification icon as well but yes thank you so much for watching everybody and i'll see you in the next one bye bye